Hi dear friends, welcome to Mariel Beats and Beyond. Today I'm going to show you how to add a second row to the Potawatomi stitch. I have a sample right here. So what we're going to do is after you finish the length, we are going to flip our work. We want the thread to be facing down. We are going to sew through the next bead. Our thread is exiting from this bead. We are going to pick up five beads and we are going to sew through the same bead our thread is exiting from. We are going to pass our needle through four seed beads. Our thread is exiting from this bead. We are going to pick up one seed bead. We are going to sew through the first bead out of the fifth that we previously add. And we are going to pull. This is what you should have. We are going to sew through the next, the beads that are sticking out. We are going to pick up three seed beads and we are going to sew through the second bead out of the five beads that we added. We are going to pick up one bead, a trace exiting from this bead. We are going to sew up through the first bead out of the three beads that we added. We are going to sew through the next bead that is sticking out. We are going to pick up three seed beads. We are going to sew through this bead, which is the second bead out of the three that we add. We are going to pick up one bead and we are going to sew through the first bead out of the three beads that we previously add. And we are going to continue repeating until we finish. As you can see, it's super easy to add a second row of Patawa Tommy stitch. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow along. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share them with your friends. Until next time, thank you.